Hi everyone, uh, travel addict guy here and I'm in the Cervantes neighborhood of Granada and this is just a beautiful beautiful neighborhood guys. We're very close to this river here and we're not far from the Alhambra as well and behind me you have another gorgeous fountain and take a look at that you have those beautiful lions there I love it. So a fountain of the lions and behind me you have these gorgeous villas here in this neighborhood look at them this one here actually might be some apartments but along here this row here you definitely have villas you have this beautiful area to walk here and then to my right over here you have the little river that goes through and i like this here they have this restaurant right here guys and take a look at it and I just walked through here a little while ago and there's a beautiful restaurant here and looks like they have some really interesting dishes and there's one dish here I wanted to show you it's on this billboard here look at that that looks fantastic and that is the estofada de papas con ternera so it is um, potatoes with like a stew with meat and that's only 550 guys that looks incredible and look at this restaurant guys take a look at it wow just gorgeous look at this they've got uh, different cakes look at that oh wow look at all that stuff right here next to the river guys I just love it it just looks great look at it and here is the river over here we have a man plane and there is the river down there I guess you would call it a river it's not much of a river and on the other side we have some stuff over there as well look at that another big building and we're with the dog so a lot of people out walking wow last night it was down to zero celsius it's like 32 degrees fahrenheit so just about freezing wow and we had some rain a few days too and the high temperature was only about 12 or 13 celsius so today i guess it's going to get up to about 15 or 16 the sun is starting to come up now it's about 11 a.m maybe 11 30 now and we're gonna walk down here along here and take a look looks like there's something down at the end and you see we have this nice park here look at this we have the uh, beautiful palm trees take a look at those some orange trees just a beautiful scenery here and that restaurant look at that that is gorgeous so a beautiful day to explore Granada so come with me guys so I'm gonna walk through this little park here and take a look there's another interesting tree beautiful area to walk and to cycle here's I saw a lot of cyclers here's another one I saw a group of them earlier and let's walk around here and take a look at some of these gorgeous houses look at them that would be fantastic to live in a place like this or even to rent they are just absolutely gorgeous look at that look at that one it has almost like a greenish a light greenish color that one is gorgeous beautiful um, look at that one wow this is extraordinary look at that it looks like it has about three or four levels take a look at the beauty of that it almost looks like a mini castle wow so people are living a good life here in Granada and I've talked to some people now recently at the hostels and a lot of people tell me they love Granada and they just love the people here and the laid back feel and they said that people are so friendly here and it is so different than other parts of Spain. In fact, I've met a few people recently that were uh, living here and they told me they preferred it much more than even places like Malaga. I was quite surprised by that. And so far everyone has treated me very, very well indeed. Just a gorgeous place, guys, to stroll, to explore. And there's some stuff to see down there. And if you go further this way, you're gonna run into the Alhambra. We're not very far away from it at all. These houses are just phenomenal. Look at this one here. Unreal, guys. You can see they have a uh, high gates for privacy. But definitely these people have to be 
quite well off i would assume look at these hedges look at the way they're trimmed just beautiful and as well for privacy there's a man walking the dog or excuse me a woman walking the dog a lot of dogs here in spain people love dogs they love animals and like i said we have a gate here let's see if we can see over a little bit take a look there look at that just gorgeous and we have some more beautiful houses look at that it's just unreal the beauty of that this is just a gorgeous gorgeous area to live and to visit and you can see all the benches they have there to sit enjoy and relax here we can see some more of that house this one is called central juvenile nazareth so it's a juvenile center looks like a young person's uh, center wow interesting so maybe this is a place for young people then wow it's actually and i hear it looks like some people playing music in there wow look at that so maybe some kind of school guys so let's cross the street again we go back over here toward the uh, park area you've got some areas for kids to play there and you've got another nice statue here look at this like an obelisk with an eagle on top just gorgeous the orange trees there might be some even some granada trees which are the pomegranates and that is what granada is named after in spanish it is a granada and look at this look at that eagle on top look at that guys that is just it's just beautiful loving that so so many beautiful places there's someone there sitting there relaxing on the obelisk look at this little area you have a little grove there look at that i love that so many places they make it so comfortable guys even within the cities in spain i love the way they do it they make it so so comfortable to live because you can always escape from the urban jungle if you will that sidewalk jungle into a little bit of nature anytime you like and we can see we've come a little further up the river now this is back there so we haven't come too far so let's continue up here a little bit and see what we can see further down this uh this little river here you can see the oranges on the trees we have a little bit of flowers coming up like i said it is early march Look at this here. This is really nice here. You have a little uh, fountain here. Looks like maybe it's off, but just a gorgeous setting. This is gorgeous, guys. What a relaxing place. A city within a city or a garden within a city. There's another little fountain here. Looks like there's a uh, bus there, maybe a bus stop close by. And it looks like these big row of houses start to end a little bit. And you can see way up there, there's a lot of houses up there. Up, those, up there in those hills, there's a lot of places to live up in those hills. And what do we have here? A giant... Looks like some kind of giant uh, machine there. Wow. Some kind of old steam engine maybe? That's what it looks like. Let's take a look at that. So it's on one of those uh, roundabouts here. You can see it. It does look like an old, maybe it's a water wheel. I'm not sure what that is, guys. It looks like some kind of steam engine or maybe it is a water wheel. That is interesting for sure. Definitely they wanted to preserve that. I like how they do that. Instead of keeping everything in a museum sometimes, they will put it out in the open for people to enjoy. So let's go this way back toward the uh, river and let's see if it continues i assume it will continue all the way up the mountain we might we might not go that far but we'll see a little bit further here so there's a bridge here take a look at that so we're on the other side of this bridge now and like i said you can loosely call this a river what is flowing water but it's definitely water coming from up the mountain, I would assume. Here's a place called Black 
Kapala. There's a motorcycle there. Look at that. Motorcycle out front. So let's go a little bit further here and see. I have not been down this way. I'd like to explore some different parts of Granada. I have several videos of the center and of the Alhambra, places like that, that you can find on my channel if you're interested in that. Here's another little bar here. Looks like you can go down there. There's some stairs going down. Looks like you can go all the way down along the side there. I see some graffiti there. That's maybe how they got down there. Looks like it's getting a little deeper here, the water. Wow, interesting. So this will be interesting here. Let's go a little further here and see what we can find. Okay, so we got some uh, more fast flowing water here. Some more graffiti. So it looks like definitely a change of scenery a little bit. We've got some uh, apartment blocks here. Probably where the normal people live. They don't have all that money to afford those uh, villas. Some uh, trees growing here. A lot of parking here for people and I see a lot of movement here a lot of people walking around and you can start to see there it goes up there in the background you have houses up there in the hills again a lot of uh, apartments and houses here along the uh, river I'm not sure what we have here I see a lot of these uh, trees looks like they've been cut there's a couple there I don't know if that's something they require or they were just dead. What do we have here? Here's a hubcap missing. <laughs> Looks like they left it though. Looks like you can go down here too. Look at this. This is open. You can go right down along the river if you want. That might be nice. Should we continue this way or that way? Wow, it's a tough decision. I think I'm going to go this way because you might better see more from the high ground. So let's go this way, guys. And it looks like a bike shop here. You can see a mural, mural there, a mural where they painted for the cyclists. Cyclist club, oh, this might be it here. It looks like they're selling cycles. Balakuk. And we've got some cyclists there. And they're coming down off the mountain, maybe. Looks like there's a few there. So they're probably, maybe this is the road up to the hills in the mountain, maybe. I've been in a few hostels where there were actually uh, bikes there, cycles, and the people were going to cycle through the mountains. Wow, there was one guy talking about a very ambitious ride through the mountains. And it was supposed to be very cold this weekend and we were all telling him to take precaution. What intrepid young man, I think he was German. So maybe this is a school even, I don't know. So this is a different part of town for sure some people down there along the uh, river look at that over there we've got some houses there in the distance looks like they're on the hill that is quite interesting there quite nice another cyclist so this is definitely a spot where the cyclists pass so it definitely looks like they place these rocks here to keep the flow of the river to a minimum maybe that's why we don't see a big flow in the city so there definitely seems to be some power here to the river look at that i wonder if there's any fish in there there's got to be definitely some algae growing in there maybe there's some um there has to be some kind of life in there and we see a different kind of tree here it looks like it almost had uh some berries looks like they're dried now not sure what kind of tree that is. It looks like it would probably be beautiful in the summertime. That is a nice picture though, guys. You have to admit, some people walking there with the dogs, a greyhound possibly. Those are quite popular now, these greyhounds. A lot of people in Spain have greyhounds and look at that, wow. Up there toward the mountains, you can see that in the distance. Take a look at that. That is nice. <laughs> And you can start to see that cloud cover over there. You can see that cloud cover there high in the mountains. What a scenic area. What a scenic part of town. And there's this pink tree over there. That poor guy there was in a wheelchair, but it didn't stop him from exploring. He's got like a three wheel bike, I guess you would call it, or like a chair. And he had his trusty 
German Shepherd at his side. I just love that, guys. And now we're starting to see some more vegetation here further up the river. Some more trees. And looks like some older buildings here. Looks like even some damage to that one. So this might be the cheap area here, cheaper part of town. Look at that. That looks like it's definitely in disarray. That building, a little bit derelict. Some birds are enjoying it. That's a shame though, because it is a beautiful old building. Maybe some people live there. I'm not sure. It looks like there are some uh, windows shut. Maybe they're squatting there. I don't know. That is an issue in Spain, guys. There are a lot of vacant buildings in Spain. Some people are predicting a financial crisis in Spain in the coming years. I've seen some economists predicting that because you have this aging uh, population and you don't have a lot of young people now in Spain to take up the slack to pay for all the pensions and the maintenance and all the taxes so that is an issue going forward and a lot of young people they cannot find jobs high unemployment so they are leaving to other countries this is gorgeous guys i'm really enjoying this looks like a bridge up here and the name of the street is the paseo hermanos costeleros so that is the street i'm on here it is in granada Look at that, we have a house up there, on that hill there. Some on top as well. Looks like there might be some schools. I see a lot of kids here. And we'll be coming up to that bridge next. Let's walk down this, um, let's walk down the side street real quick. And let's take a look at the houses here, see what we can see. Well, you've got houses all the way up there. On top of the hill there. It does look like a, a school there maybe. Yeah, I think it says kindergarten. So maybe a lot of people live in this area. Yeah, it definitely looks like it. So we're coming up to a another bridge here. And I definitely hear some sounds like kids over there. I heard it's cool. A whistle maybe. Sounds like maybe for the play court. And this is a nice little bridge here. Wow. And some people here. Hola. Hola. Some uh, locals there, it seems. Trying to figure out what I'm doing here. <laughs> but uh, you guys know me, I like to explore the lesser known areas off the beaten path. And that's where you find the good stuff sometimes, guys. And here we are doing it. Once again, trying to find that good stuff. So this uh, may have seen better days here. Looks like somebody missed the uh, road there. Not sure what happened there. Here we are on the bridge. Let's maybe cross over to, there's some motorcycles there, motorcyclists. And here we go in the background. Some of those um, way to the mountains and beautiful hills there. Look at that, that is getting nice over there. Very picturesque here. Some more apartments, like I said, so you can see a lot of locals living here in this area. I would imagine it's not that expensive. And not a bad place to live, of course. You've got houses all the way here. So definitely a lot of houses here. I think this is a big school, it might be a high school. Look at that, you can see it's very large. And some more residential properties here. Here's what the street looks like. You see a Spanish flag there in the distance. Looks like there's a name of the street here. This is the Paseo Fuente de la Bicha. This is a really interesting part of town, I have to say. So I'm crossing this uh, little bridge now. Got to hit all the bridges. Some people have a little, few little love locks here. <laughs> Somebody walking along the riverbed there with a the dog. Nice there. And we have a little bar here. 
It's called Bar El Rio, aptly named for the river. So I'm even further down here now. We've come to another bridge. They seem to be getting smaller and smaller. And there was a lot of cyclists that have been passing me. So definitely they are going up into the mountains it seems. River has thinned out a lot here. And you can see we have some hills here. And the sun is out. It's starting to warm up guys. And if you're in the sun it feels quite nice. But once you get in the shade you can tell the temperature drops a lot. So we're going to enjoy it while we can. Because this evening it's going to be cold again overnight. That's the prediction. So apparently you can keep going and going and going. But I think we're going to save that for another day, guys. So I hope you enjoyed this little exploration of this part of Granada. We'll see you in the next video. Travel addict guy. Take care, everyone.